For those of you who don't know me, my name is Matt Mayhood. I'm president and CEO of the Silicon Valley Organization, also known as the SVO. We are the region's largest and oldest chamber of commerce. And uh, I am here to serve as your master of ceremonies today. And uh, very pleased to be here uh, supporting uh, Urban Catalyst, uh, a strong member and engaged active member with the SVO, and we appreciate your support. And we're uh, absolutely behind everything they're doing, doing in our community to make San Jose a great place to live, work, play, run a business, and uh, uh, have a lot of fun. So uh, we really appreciate the investments you're making in our community, and we hope you'll continue to, to do that and make things happen. I'm going to have Josh Burroughs come up and uh, give a little talk, and uh, we'll run through each of these folks. And Josh is the uh, co-founder. COO and Executive Vice President of Develop, Development for Urban Catalyst. So Josh, come on up. So again, thank you, Matt and the SVO for all of your support today and throughout the years. Um, also want to give a shout out to the Downtown Association, Scott Neese, uh, in particular for being such a booster for our Paseo de San Antonio, uh, you know, our main connector here between San Jose State University all the way through to uh, Giridon Station. Projects like these are transformative, and we like to give a big thanks to Imwali Properties. I know John's here, and uh, also Gary, Jeff, and the entire urban community team for uh, believing in Urban Catalyst, allowing us to move forward with the revitalization effort and continue the vision that you started for this critical location in downtown. I'd like to thank our design, engineering, and construction teams for their support as we look at creative ways to breathe new life into this building. HGA, CEA, JAMA, South Bay Construction, Spectrum Consulting, Earth Systems, and also our property manager, MCM Diversified. Our marketing efforts led by Jeff Ariaga with Newmark for the second and third floor office of the building, as well as Nick Goddard with Colliers International, who is going to be helping us curate the ground floor retail here. And last but not least, of course, the city of San Jose, uh, from staff to all the council members, Office of Economic Development, it really takes a village to take downtown to the next level, and we truly value our partnership with you. So uh, with that, I'm going to hand it back to Matt to introduce our city partners here today. Uh, representing the city of San Jose, District 10, is council member Johnny Camus. He is also the chair of the Economic Development Committee. So please welcome council member Johnny Camus. Yeah, anybody remember what, what this area used to have? Was this San Jose Live, remember those days? <laughs> I've, been, I've been out here for a long time and this area really needs to be revived. I am so happy that Urban Catalyst decided to set up shop here in the city of San Jose. I, I, don't rem I remember breaking uh, cutting the ribbon on your, your office space not too long ago, and you're already investing money, you're already making our city a more vibrant uh, place to be, and I want to really want to thank you for your investment and your, your passion for our city, quite frankly. I have to admit, I've, I've been at a lot of ground breakings, but I've never held a sledgehammer, so I'm looking forward to that, and uh, I really want to congratulate all the partners here. I think this is going to be a great vital space um, that, that, will, um, that will enhance this whole area. Thank you very much for all the work that you're doing, and I'll hand it back off to you. Representing City of San Jose District 8, Council Member Sylvia Arenas. Council Member. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I've got, uh, I walked back in memory lane uh, coming in here because I used to bring my, my kiddo here when he was little, and we watched only animated movies, of course. Um, He's out of that, uh, that age zone, so I'm really excited about this next phase in this area. And uh, what really called to me was this tagline, this transforming opportunity to impact. And, and I've got to say that when we break ground here, we're really breaking ground on opportunity. And that opportunity is going to make an impact on our residents because it's going to create jobs, it's going to create uh, some vibrancy here, very much needed vibrancy. Um, and it's really just going to bring it all together. And so when, we, when we're all on the freeway in the morning, uh, struggling to get to the downtown area, these guys will be here already. And so thank you for thinking of all those components when you bring in such a great uh, development into our city. 
um, you really are transforming um, and you are really providing some impact. So thank you so much. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Eric Hayden. And thank you for all of those that, that Josh, that you listed, um, because it, it does take a village. So congratulations. I also look forward to the sledgehammer, and I'm going to tell my son that I got to hold one today. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to welcome up uh, the Chief Economic Development and Land Use Officer, officer from the City of San Jose, uh, working out of the mayor's office, Kelly Klein. Come on up, Kelly. Uh, this was also a memory lane uh, for me. Uh, who was here for the UA opening? <laughs> that was really going back, I guess two of us. <laughs> Scott, you had to have been there. <laughs> yeah. um, Scott I, was here, he's yeah. been here for everything. <laughs> Only a couple of us will admit to that. Um, <laughs> But I want to reiterate on behalf of the mayor just to thank you for the, um, the huge investment in this building, um, in particular uh, the Amwali team and Gary and Jeff with uh, Urban Communities and of course the um, Urban Catalyst team who has this as really the linchpin of the Opportunity Zone portfolio. Uh, what I love best about working in downtown is that it's always reinventing itself, and as sad as I was to see those cedars go away, I'm even more excited about some of the things that Nick is working on. I know this, uh, this will be as vibrant as it ever was, uh, maybe even more so. Uh, so I'm sure that this building's going to have a happy Hollywood ending. We can't wait for it, and we are standing by to help move this project as quickly as possible. Now I'd like to welcome up representing Council Member Pam Foley from San Jose District 9, uh, Michael Lomeo. He's a senior policy aide. So, Michael? Hi, everybody. My name is Michael Lomeo, and I'm representing Council Member Pam Foley. Um, unfortunately, she is unable to be here today, but she would like me to convey her thanks for your time, your talent, and your treasure being invested in downtown San Jose today. The Council Member is working tirelessly to make San Jose a more vibrant city and I think we can all agree, so are all of you. Um, under your leadership, dormant buildings like the one before us will soon be renovated. And prior to that renovation, many of us have noticed some neat and creative efforts to beautify our downtown. Sometimes that comes in the form of a mural on the back of a building. Other times we can run into plastic cup art on a cyclone fence. Whatever form of beautification used to decrease blight, thank you. Thank you because these art investments may be by design short term but today they are important to the experience we have walking these paseos, alleyways, and streets. Longer term, we recognize you are not just working on buildings, you're working on an ecosystem with multiple uses, and because of that, eventually a lot more folks are going to be coming to downtown to live, to work, and to have a good time. Because of all these efforts by everyone at Urban Catalyst, downtown San Jose will become more lively and more vibrant. Thank you for working to make this downtown better off than you found it. Cheers. And now representing Council Member Al Perales from District 3, and we are in District 3, would you please welcome the Senior Council Assistant, David Tran. The Council, council Member Perales, the Downtown Council Member here, really apologize that he could not be here, but he is just so excited. Thank you, Josh, thank you, Eric, thank you to your, your entire teams and all the partners who have uh, made this happen, this day happen. Um, you know, in September 2016, our office, along with the thousands of downtown residents and business owners and employees, were so sad when the door closed here on camera 12. But as you say, when one door closes, another one opens. And this is going to be a really cool looking door that's going to be opening. So thank you so much for everyone. And we're, we're, as Kelly said, we're here to commit our support to making this happen. So thank you. And now probably the man who needs no real introduction, someone who I've known, I think, since right after I joined the SVO, SVO about eight and a half years ago, has been very active in our community, recently joined the SVO Board of Directors and is the founder of Urban Catalyst. Please welcome Eric Hayden. Thanks, Matt. I'm just so excited everybody's here to you know, help us welcome in a new era for the Camera 12 Cinema site. Um, you know, Urban Catalyst, our goal is the revitalization of downtown. And we're gonna be doing it one building at a time, this is our first project that's going to break ground, so it's very exciting for us. Uh, I want to tell you a little bit about what we're doing here. So we're you know, going to be doing demolition. We're taking out all of these stairways. We're going to push back this wall all the way to the studs. And on the second and third floors, we're going to open up the space, because right now it's movie theaters. And office tenants of the future are going to want to visualize where they are in order to lease our space. So that's uh, phase one here of our project. You know. I also want to thank, of course, everyone who came. And um, 
special shout out to Mike Charney, who is leading our project team in the development. He, Mike is back there. So our seven projects at Urban Catalyst right now, we're going to be doing $700 million worth of projects here, all in downtown, all within a mile walking distance of each other. Uh, last year, Urban Catalyst Opportunity Zone Fund raised around $60 million. We're planning on doing that same thing this next year, and that's what's going to be the equity to make all of these projects happen. Um, you know, we want to activate the streets. We want to make this an amazing place for people to come, uh, walk around, eat. I want to see coffee shops. I want to see people eating in outdoor areas, buying flowers on the streets. I just want to see activation. And that's what we want to bring here to the Paseo de San Antonio. And that's our goal. So everyone who came again, thank you so much. And uh, yeah, we're going to uh, hang on to some giant sledgehammers. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.